hey hello everyone my name is ravindra and i welcome you to my youtube channel in this video we are seeing cascading of drop down three levels okay so let's i showcase you how it's work so you can get an idea what we are doing in this video so we have the countries okay different countries we have like united state india canada if i select the any country then i get it uh, i can select the state okay it will all the state will filter on the basis of country you can be see only countries state sorry state related to countries are visible here maharashtra karnataka similar for the cities as well in the maharashtra we have mumbai pune thane so those cities are visible so we are implementing this scenario here okay let's and if i remove this so it will be hide so let's we go and showcase you the how to create the data structure for this scenario to create the drop down okay cascading drop down you should have the three list okay one is for the cities sorry one is the main list is for the countries okay so in this countries we have all the countries okay like united states india canada bangladesh pakistan x y z all the countries should be available here okay then we have the state so this state is look up to the countries okay so here all the state are mentioned in the title column and in the country one we are created a look up column okay so if i go column setting click on the edit so you can be see look up countries with the title if your column is different then you can be select it from here now this is done then similarly we have to do for the cities as well data structure all the cities are present in title column okay. and cities are correlated it means look up with the state here you can be see similar approach we have followed here same okay title is our primary column so that's why we keep it here so let's go to the power apps and let's try to create this so for that purpose let us add the new blank screen here in the blank screen let us add the one text input and one combo box i am using the classic combo box you can use anything as per your convenience okay according to your ui design both approaches are the similar here so let's we go with the modern one okay because new controls are added now so you will get the idea as well how new controls are working so new combo box i have added here new text input let's change the name of this okay to the countries let's i increase the size of this one okay so it is 14 so i will increase to the 24 it should be bigger and we can be easily see and from regular to i make it bold similar for the drop down as well combo box as well let's i increase the font size to the 24 similarly and uh, let's increasing little bit height so it will it should be map in that correctly okay auto height for the text input is i'm turning on so it will take the automatic height okay so this we are not focusing on ui here okay let's try to build the functionality so let's i copy this paste it one time by using control c and control v okay it is we will do it from here copy 
paste one more time paste so now this one we will use for the state and this one we will use for the city in the data source section okay let's i remove this one okay items property and we will give the list name here okay so for the in the countries i just given the country for the state let i give the state here and for the city as well let's i change it to the city let's check in the play mode how it's working now we given data source to the all the combo boxes okay the so all the three state we can be able to see here okay state all the state are visible here okay including united state as well as canada and as well as indian states okay so are all visible here in the cities also all cities are visible okay so we have to perform the filter operation on these columns okay so let's i go in the combo box in the data source property before that let's i copy the name of this combo box let's i go it here okay and use the filter we have the country lookup column so i use this dot id we have to select okay you can select value as well okay but we are filtering on the basis of numbers okay of combo box that's why i given there so it is filtering on the basis of this okay so d should be capital so we have the in the combo box we can select the multiple values okay so that's why we are getting the error here okay so what should we do okay the combo box we will use the first function here we will use selected items then we will close this and then we will use the id here okay it is in error so we will use the value okay sometimes it will give the delegation warning sometimes it will not if you see in the my previous video okay let's i go to the this screen okay and showcase you here so here i have used if you see in the filter condition we have used here value okay id here okay and in the new combo box okay we are using the value to avoid the delegation warning here okay you can change this according to the your delegation's warning then similar formula we have to apply to the cities as well okay so let's i copy the name of this one let's i go to the city one filter city column name region dot value equal to our combo box dot select so same thing we have done here okay but here we are directly use the combo box one dot selected dot title both the things will work okay if you are facing error you can be do like this okay if multi select option is turn on in that case you will get the error so if you change here okay to the select here also it will work okay so let's test this okay our filter condition is working properly or not i selected india here okay so it is changed to the maharashtra and we can be select to the cities as well okay 
we need to turn on the allow empty selection also in the advanced we have on change appearance empty selection property so we can be turn on that okay so for new control we not have that option okay or low empty selection okay now whenever user click on the new state okay like canada so this drop down should be blank okay so if you see i select canada so it is changing the state okay blank and now if i change this to india okay this drop downs are became blank automatically in previous one if you using the old control we have to make this blank okay if you see on my on change property of this controls okay so we have used a reset function okay to reset these values in the combo bar now if this value is selected okay then only the state and city should be visible so it will look more decent okay so that's why we make change the visibility of the controls now okay so i copy the name of this one let's i go to the visible property is empty if you are using selected items okay then in this case you can be use is empty and if you are using the dot selected item in that case you can be go with the is blank as well both will give us the same result same thing we have to do for the city drop down as well okay so now values are selected so it is you can be see here okay so same we have to check it with the this one okay so let's i copy the name of this combo box similarly here okay and uh, let's change the visible property of this one is blank dot select exclamation mark to reverse the condition same condition will copy and use on the label visible prop so it so now you can be see the drop down is not available if i select the california only then city column is available now okay so in this way we can be make the changes okay for any doubt any questions friend okay how to perform with the old combo box that i also explained to you okay so in the cascading drop down if you see here okay so in the old country is not selected now if i go and select the india both drop downs will be visible i select maharashtra mumbai okay so in the on change property of this okay you can be put the this code okay reset one then it will work fine that's all friends keep learning keep growing keep exploring if you have any doubt any question please let me know in the comment box have a nice